Welcome to Inspired Legacy Podcast with Frank Inspire. Thank you for joining me on our first episode on this journey of doing podcast on this channel. So today I want to speak about dreams validation. All of us from as individuals from a tender age, we all, we all have had dreams in different areas of our lives. I always remember this case whereby we used to be asked this question when when primary school to be said what do you want me to be when you grow up obviously we all had the things that we have in our minds as kids some would say i want to be a doctor some say i want to be a pilot some say to be a nurse some say to be a policeman and different other kind of things that we always wanted to be when when we when we grow up and these things that we did mention when we were kids transcend into dreams that we have as individuals but then dreams get to evolve over time because of the experience that we get to face in life, the things that we get to see what matters most to unto us. So as much as dreams get to evolve and over time and over age, the certain things that get to have made certain dreams not to become a reality in some people's lives. I want to speak number one to say, dreams are basically on an individual basis, mostly. Yes, they can get to be developed into maybe a group dream, per se, maybe a couple dream or a family dream. But I want to speak about as a dream, as you, as an individual. Most dreams have not become a reality because people or individuals are seeking validation from different people for their dreams to become a reality. Dreams are what makes us as people or what make us our lives to be. So the action of making or declaring something legally or officially acceptable, that's what's the meaning validation. And a lot of people are waiting for this. We are waiting an action from people outside our circle, outside ourselves for our dreams to be acceptable. So validation may symbolize a desire for approval or to feel accepted. So a lot of times most people are always getting out there wanting to be accepted, their dreams to be accepted. Want if someone gets to accept to say this dream is valid or this dream is acceptable in the society, then it can become a reality. But one thing that I've come to understand is validation has become the greatest killer of many people's dreams. Why do I say this? Because we're always waiting for other people to validate our dreams, whereby it's supposed to be you as an individual to validate your dream. Your dream is your life. Your life is your dream. So most of the time, I always suggest to say that um, it'll be good to focus on yourself. It'll be good to focus on yourself more and that means you're giving the validation for your dreams for someone say that opinions will become will only become a reality when you accept them so validation will always kill the dreams because you're waiting for your dream to be accepted or to be accepted by other people that may become a reality so i want you to understand that each day as you live your life your life depends on your own validation as a person because you're the one who understand what you want in your life, where you want your life to go, what exactly do you want to achieve in your life. So basically, that's what I'm trying to say, that your dream is your life. Your life is your dream and your dream is your responsibility. Never wait for someone else to make your dream a reality. You're the one who gets to validate your own dream as a person because your dream is your life and your life is your dream. You're the only person who's worthy to validate your dream.